Hey everybody and welcome to Minibot Plays Stoneheart Alpha 19. I know that it's not a popular opinion these days to buy uh, unfinished games, but this one just looked so nice and uh, it's a feels like a mix between I would say Minecraft uh, You'll see. So this is how it starts. This is the story of a brave band of settlers from Ascendancy. So this is the story. It changes a bit with what you're creating. I'm gonna select a biome that forest. I don't know why I'm lagging and I'm gonna go with the normal difficulty. This is the story of a brave band of settlers from the Ascendancy, a prosperous and industrious kingdom. Seeking new lands and adventure, they set off to Darkmoor Forest, a location that is sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. So without further delay. Aha! And now this is a place that I can stay for hours at, but I will right away tell you that this is a traveler store, so you have 150 gold to start. Don't mind the dog in the background if you can hear him. My neighbors are assholes and I don't raise their dogs properly. Uh, Traveler store. Uh, in the past, I would get a few tools to start and a bit of um, food. But I've noticed that the trapper's knife uh, comes really late in a game. And even if it takes all your gold, uh, it helps you a lot with food. So I'm going to go... And you just click once, so be careful. And I'm gonna get the trapper's knife. And now for workers, if I understood correctly, the mind, well, it tells you it's for crafting, mostly. It says uh, at the beginning, crafting. The ability to think intelligently, blah, 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 such as crafting. And then the heart is, of course, HP, but also move faster. So that means work faster, live longer. And then you have spirit, a high spirit, Earthling will easily befriend animals ah, and stand strong against enemies. Influences courage, willpower, and compassion. So I think that would make a good trapper because they can befriend animals when they level up to another class. It's, it's good courage for soldiers. So I want to get a six of everything. So right now I only have Linol, Mavel. You can change the names, by the way. But I'm going to roll new citizens. I don't have a six of crafting every time you craft an item and we will see that later in the game you have a chance of making a fine item so a higher quality and I'll, I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later so for now I roll new citizens I want a six of everything six of crafting uh, no six of heart I don't mind not having a six of heart as long as they have like five and five, but that's a one. I don't want a one. Six of crafting here, a one of heart, but he can be crafting. Uh, so that's really good. That's okay. I like his name or gem, or is it a girl? Pony as a high spirit. Heath is gonna, and he's got fucking sweet sideburns. Stefan and we have our soldier here all right so take a look at the names this is what I'm gonna go with because I don't want to waste too much time doing that so embark so what Lathland is doing on his channel is asking his viewers to rename their characters and I think it's a neat idea so I'm gonna copy him shamelessly but I keep plugging him a great channel Lathland funny voice there's not a lot of people that I enjoy watching, but I do enjoy him. Uh, so now you see the map and it's time to choose where you're gonna live. Mm, if you see on the right, trees and plants, how many? Very important. Wildlife, also important. And minerals. Minerals, it's not so important because you can dig. It's all right. Uh, I don't want too much mountain though. Ooh, I like this because I have a lot of green. And oh, there's even a lake on the top of the mountain. That's cool. We could make like an Olymp Olympian, like ancient Athens, Greek temple, pantheon. And there's a big lake here. We're going to click. 
settle here. Because anyways, you can move somewhere else after you chose uh, where you want to settle. It's it's not uh, definite. Wrong. My, my buildings are really boring. Uh, I'm going to try a little bit harder for you guys to, to do something more interesting. So this is the world. You can see the clouds. Cloud shadow. All right. Mm -mm. Here's a bunny sculpture. I don't, still don't know what they do. So where's my lake? Map, it, they're not huge, but I don't move around a lot. That's cool. I like that little lake up here. That's cute. Might settle here, actually. I think that's less to defend, too, for two, two sides. But it's a little bit ugly to be, like, on the side of the, of the disc world, the Terry Pratchett disc world. So right away, you, what you want to look for is you need a lot of trees. You need stone, but again, you can dig. Uh, these guys help you a lot when you start because you can get food from them and these guys, but you can farm that really quickly. So you shouldn't really depend on that too much. I really like that spot here. I, and I have a rabbit statue to, to look after, even if it's hidden by a, by a tree. I'm going to try to keep it. So I'm going to settle. I'm going to settle around here. I have the mountain here. I could move up to the mountain, but things come down from the mountains. All right, so enough. Let's make our town right here. Now you're going to spawn. Beep, 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 beep. Type a name for your set settlement. Mini, mini story. Okay, whatever. Don't judge. It's called mini story. So I'm gonna pause it for the beginning. And this is where Landlar, uh, Lathland really helped me start. Uh, I had no idea what to do at first at all. There's no tutorials left. So what I did is I wanna keep the lake kind of pristine, but I wanna keep, I wanna clear an area. Ah, see, animals, aminals already. So first, Let's look at my characters. Who has the most spirit? Because that's good for animals, they said. Uh, pony. But she's slow. And then you have Stefan, but he's going to be the soldier. Because he has a high... Do I have a six body? Yes. But I'm still going to go with Pony. So change jobs. We'll let you go into your tree where you pick a job uh, they have prerequisites so denied if i want to be a weaver requires weaver's spindle crafted by the carpenter so i need a carpenter first so no problem here so there's you need the tools and if you look here farmer you can become a cook you need a level two farmer so they level up which is really fun and now because I bought the knife, I can make a trapper. So, boom. Congratulations, Butch. You're now a trapper. And the carpenter, where's my six? Mind. Because that's good for crafting. Aha. Oh, yeah. The guy with the heath. I need, I need a manly name, guys. So, help me with, a, a, like, the manliest name ever. Because heath Edessa is not so manly right now. And he's going to be the carpenter. So boom, approved and approved. And now if you click, oh, so yeah, if I go back here, the details of the person, their name, the hall. So this is what you can have them do. So if sometimes you need people to move stuff around this hall to build, if you want to dedicate people to mine and job, I still don't know. I think it's just their job. Like the carpenter will focus on only carpenting. Most of the jobs is most of the professions when you give them a job they do only that and they haven't changed yet because it's still on pause but if i press if i go here and i speed up slowly and see they went and they got their tools So yeah, if I go back to that little portrait, the citizens, she can only haul and hunt. 
and he can still build the carpenter, but he won't mine. But that's okay. That's okay. So now the first thing you want to do is designate a zone which will be sort of your your town, the middle of your of your town. So I'm gonna do a 20 by 20 of stockpile of anything for now and we can reorganize that later and then you want to click harvest and then you just select the resources what you want to harvest so i like to keep a little bit of trees around uh, i used to just clear everything up but now i want to keep a little bit of trees to make a cute town for you guys but i'm still gonna cut all this shit all this shit all that yeah don't care about that and i want to cut him because i want to see the i want to see the statue and you got to be careful because you can actually harvest this for rocks mine if you want to rock individual blocks cancel and loot steal items from another player still not possible but you can use that to remind your citizens to pick up some stuff so right away i'm i'm gonna let them go and I'm gonna I like to play on fast forward so all these guys are gonna go ahead and start cutting uh, oh yeah and I need to designate an area for the trapper so there's some raccoons here that will become bacon boom so that's one if I can find more animals aminals aha See, there's one here, and I guess they'll multiply. So, boom. There you go. That The green lines is something else I learned from Lathland. Uh, if you click in the options, you can see where they go. And I like it because it kind of lets you know what they're doing and if they're going to go and get themselves in trouble. Uh, around here, do I have... Aha! So, these guys, this is also something I learned from Lathland. You can move these guys that you can harvest and you can bring them over to your town which is awesome because then you can harvest them for food so i'm just gonna move them really quickly a grizzly traveler approaches i like to pause a grizzled not a grizzly oh the message disappeared i didn't have time to click it but if i go here bulletin bulletins boom mer burly hands that's a many name. Praise Sid. That, I think that's a god. Here's something to get you started. Two baskets of turnips, one basket of berries, one rabbit jerky. Thank goodness. And I'm gonna leave it on pause for now and move more stuff. So one little guy will start moving all that stuff around. Uh, but they can't go, they can't get down. So what you can do is go into build and design. So you got place buildings, more on that later. Design buildings, super fun, not so responsive right now, but still fun. Uh, place items, which is really important when you have items. <laughs> and construct ladder. So I'm going to put one ladder here and see right away. There's a green guy. Uh, gem, our not so manly manly guy will take care of that and then I want to put another ladder here so they can go get the th stuff I'll take it off after because monsters can use them aha there's another hey, he's so cute hi rabbit where are you sorry here we go haha <laughs> little eyes I love it so but I just, I'm still hungry and I'm gonna eat yeah so you want to get food you want to get trees really quickly and I have a carpenter, right? So I'm gonna go here, craft, carpenter, craft menu, really straightforward. What you can do, what it costs, what you can do, and also the level level requirements, queue order, workshop, a lot of things, but right, right now, if like if I click here, requires a placed carpenter workbench, a placed carpenter workbench. So I'm gonna craft one. And oh, I forgot, I went too fast, but that is right away, come on, added, you missed it, hee <laughs> hee, to the queue. And now you can click here, 
Thank you, Lathland, again. Your master, your great soul. And you're going to place it somewhere. I wanna, I'm just going to place it here for now. It's not going to be my definite city. You can always move it around. But I want a bit close to the, um, to the woods. So somebody put it down. And now I can either click on it and show the workshop. And now I have access to more stuff. Uh, and all this will help him level up. So what we're going to do first is a bunch of beds because they need to rest. And I'm going to do a bunch of chairs and a bunch of tables because I think they eat faster for so or something like that. Like It has an effect. The game gives you a few not really clear tips, but I do really think that they rest up or they eat faster. This tree is done when they can eat um, sitting down. So I'm gonna continue clearing my town. Maybe I'll make a, a little waterfront area. Yeah, and we'll make, do we make the farmland near the water? Or do we wanna make some prime real estate? That's a good question. So I'm just gonna add more stuff here. Aha, see? One trap is empty. Heath Edessa has reached Carpenter level one. That's great news. So level up, Carpenter can now make a solid array of basic furniture and more max health. So right away, what I need him to do is I need a wooden practice sword and a weaver's spindle. Why can't I make it? Oh, because I don't have a bundle of fiber yet. But that's all right. So we're going to make, you can drag the stuff to make it more important. Hello, one here. And I really need a farmer, but I need a carpenter level two. So right now I don't have any food. So see, the guys brought the bushels, the, 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 the shrubbery, berry bush. And see right away, they're harvesting. It's so cute. I love these guys. There's some flowers here, so you can also harvest the flowers if you're into that sort of thing I don't no judging carpenter level two you're going fast collaborative collaborative insight and now I want you to make a farmer's how a how and you'll make also uh, actually we're not gonna do a carpenter tool bench right away um, yeah actually we'll do it just in case okay so now go back place 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 don't worry they can sleep outside i haven't seen rain yet but sleeping outside on a bed is still better than sleeping outside on the floor with all the bugs and i know it's not centered i'm just going fast so we're gonna go here we're gonna go to our remember our manly guy six body four spirit uh, spirit means that if it's too low he's gonna run away but I don't care that's all we have right now Lauren Preston I hereby promote you to soldier so you gotta put your life on the line and maybe die for us so look it's grabbing a little thing makes me think of settlers yeah that's what I mean I love that game settlers 1 and 2 from back then here you go cutting the wood and he's gonna go place little chairs. See, there's little tiny tables and chairs. Daily update. All right, we're gonna pause because this is a big part of the game. So what are we working on? Immigration report, day two of Deep Moon. Year 1000, mini story population seven. Next, heartling requirements. So your town grows when you fit into those requirements. So every time, every day, daily update, Every day, they're going to check if you're doing well. And if you're doing well, somebody new will join your town. There's no other way around. So 22 out of 50 food, I need more people. I have good morale. I've never had bad morale so far. And the net worth, so furniture and decorations, needs to be much higher for me. So let's go. And there's a new workshop for more advanced stuff. Boom. So now they have a little dining area, a little sleeping area. I have a soldier patrolling 
And when you get a weaver, they can actually what I want to say. They want to, they can do armor. Yeah, the weaver makes armor. I know. I haven't made a knife, a knife, a knight yet. And see, the bushes are empty. There's nothing inside them. So this game has a lot of details already, even if it's an alpha. I want to kind of keep uh, at least three workers at all times. But now I'm going to make a farmer. I'm going to go with Tippy Homer. And I'm going to make it. I think it's a her, a farmer. Boop. And then my food is going to go really quickly. My food uh, requirements are going to go up. And now I just need to set some farmlands. I'm going to put them here for now. It's a little bit far, but it's okay. So you drag and you choose what kind of crop you want simply. So, oh yeah, morale is heavily influenced by the diversity of food that they can get. Uh, this is not yet available and you can unlock more things with uh, travelers, uh, like events. And I like to keep them really tidy. So one turnip, one carrot, and one pumpkin for one farmer. Okay, we're gonna make a desert, that's it. So I'm still, I'm gonna have, it's a long shot away. But it's all right, like we're not in a hurry. Well, we kind of are, but it's all right. It's not gonna hurt anyone. So this is what you do at first. You harvest, uh, make a food source. That's a lot, they're, they're gonna be busy. Uh, so yeah, get wood, get something so they're more comfortable. And we're already night two, because I'm playing on high speed, because I don't mind missing days. And get a food source and get a soldier. So you want to start with a carpenter, farmer, soldier, and trapper. And what else are we going to do? I'm going to start my city. Uh, you can destroy buildings anytime. And, but I like my first building just because it gives a lot of, of prestige or whatever that, 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 that thing that, that, that you need to become, um, to have high quality. I'm going to make the carpenter house. Yeah, I'm going to make the carpenter right here. Not too close to the mountain because that's creepy. So you can just click here and everything that you need to build a house, all that stuff that's not done, it's automatically queued in the, in the carpenter's set list. So it's not yet because I didn't approve it yet. And a little tip, make the edits right now. So you can just click on it. Oh, trapper level two, charm pet, nice. Uh, 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 so it doesn't do much yet. I wish you could like charm wolves and fucking ride them and shit, but not for now. So I clicked out. So you think your building's done. Oh no, you just click back here, select it, and you can edit your stuff here. And I like to add, uh, I like to add windows because you cannot, you can add decorations later, but you cannot add windows later. Uh, I could have added a back door, but maybe he's scared of monsters. And so you click here and you can see what else you can add. And if you go here, building vision, you can go down. So he's got a, he's gonna have a, a drawer, a bed, a little table to eat. He's gonna have his own bed. So finished editing for now. I uh, know we're gonna go back. I like to give them a little mat. So we're gonna go with something maybe white. Like so. Good job, bro. So really quickly, the first one, I don't like to, to make it too complicated. A car, car, panthers, pad, build. Yes, start building. So don't worry about all that being in red. He's gonna make it. I don't know if he can actually make the carpenters sign by himself, because you need to make a normal sign first and see all the little dudes are getting ready, but I still want one building so i'm gonna take the slowest one because you're not going out to harvest so i'm gonna make you stop hauling and mining and he's gonna focus on actually no it's the opposite i want to make i'm gonna take this fast one 
gem and you're just gonna haul bro and mine you're not gonna build carpenter level three artistic inspiration when inspiration strikes a carpenter may embellish his works in unexpected ways boom so that's when you can make the fine furniture so if you go here now crafters carpenter Boop. everything's set he can't make this this sign right now because he needs to make a normal sign first and I don't know if he has the intelligence so I'm gonna drag this up actually and it should go red when he's ready to make it uh, green so now I have 545 logs laying around the carpenter became red uh, green so that's what he's doing now oh look at this guys it's a beautiful sunset I'm gonna take a screenshot Aha! Invaders approaching. What's up, bro? What do you have, bro? So now you have two things. First, you can pause. You go in fight and defend. If you kick on town alert mode, all you, your little guys are gonna move to here. Um, I like to make like a walled-in area for that so that the guys can't die. But they stop working. I don't want them to stop working unless they're in danger. And then attack mode for your so when you click this you can make different teams uh, if you organize them here I always just keep everything in one team I uh, one one team my my biggest town has been um, maybe 16 and the first time I just got stuck in a loophole with no food and the second time uh, I got killed basically uh, some I've never seen that, but like six skeletons with armor and weapons came and just destroyed my town. It was awesome. I had two fighters, one with no levels, a cleric and an archer. So, and it's definitely, so I think that's why you, you kind of want to have every day have a new person. So I guess that answers my question. That it's not with the size of your town, but with how many days go by that, that you, that the difficulty escalates do it you're naked you don't have any equipment little cute he's angry ha huh? did oh he did that's done little victory music i'm gonna make a few large crates because it's okay to do a lot because they still get experience building all that stuff i like to do all this just to have it. Aha! Rough wooden shield will make two. And a sword, you can always say maintain one in inventory, and when you run out of, he'll just make a new one. And Ruffer's Garrow has arrived with wares to sell, and some stone furniture, and you can sell your stuff also. So, see, I asked him to make a door, but he made a fine wooden door, so that's awesome. I like to sell them at the beginning if I need the money, but thanks bro, I don't need any uh, stone furniture for the moment. There's a little bit of bacon laying around. My carpenter's making boxes. Daily update, here we go. Food, ah, morale, and net worth. Net worth, we're good. See, just with building a, a, a building, it makes a huge difference. Uh, you can click on a box now and this becomes also storage so use space i like to keep all my wealth my meager wealth in one spot so i'm gonna take it out of here and i'm also to reduce the the amount of walking that this little poor little farmer has to do i'm gonna put a few boxes dedicated to food Pony Adam Trapper level 3 Efficient cuts Long practice helps the trapper salvage more from each animal Awesome Yeah, stuff your face with hands Eating berries It's great I'm glad that you're happy I'm happy when you're happy Somebody just left, some lazy asshole just left the chair there So here you go guys Nice little dining area by the lake Near your food source and she's going through a big harvest right now. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna stick them close so they look. Oh, invaders approaching. Toy, oi, what is it? More little golems. 
and they're going for my farmer. Oh no, he didn't. See, there's no green line going to them, so I know that my 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 warrior hadn't spotted them yet. But now he's coming because I told him to. I don't know if there's hotkeys. I'm I'm not a StarCraft player. I don't know hotkeys. Simple merchant. What do you have, bruh? Aha! See this this I like. Pause. I want to take my time. So the armor plus three death. A heavy wool coat for cold winter nights. I haven't seen a winter yet. And a upgraded worker outfit. So I think they work faster. And now I have this guy, but I don't want to buy that. But so I'm gonna sell my fine wooden window frame. I don't have much. Oh wow, a lot of fine too. Wooden lanterns, 24. I still need much more monies. And I'm gonna sell all my storage. See, it was kind of good to, to do it. And I'm gonna buy an armor. And I need 11 more dollar. Oh, sold. I don't wanna sell my food. I have a lot of wood. Here we go, 48 and an upgraded outfit and I think my guys will just automatically go and get it little heart because she got hurt and uh, yeah see it's on the ground nice armor and you who are you Yufa what's your stats Yufa Preston are you terrible yeah okay so you needed it <laughs> you're gonna be the crafter hey it's finished you you know because if you click on it, it says congratulations and then you can you cannot edit you can save to copy the template or you can remove it for later when you're smarter you can move these if you want your dude to actually go in a house and another nifty thing I think that was that's what users uh, early buyers actually wanted but they wanted to assign an owner to the bed to have the actual crafter actually sleep in that bed which I think is great actually here there's some iron so we're gonna send her lazy fox uh, we're gonna start them here the thing is they're pretty stupid and they often get caught in the f in the mountains here's our last daily update hopefully guys for this clip I'm just gonna finish my sentence so yeah I like to give them a ladder because they get stuck when they dig and then they got stuck there and I think they can die of hunger if you don't pay attention so be careful so now we have food we have a dining area we have storage we have a carpenter's house we have stockage and I'm actually gonna take the wood out and the construction out so they keep keep things in one place just cuz I'm like that cuz they give you the option to do it so just do it and a daily update food 50 87 morale is good net worth is awesome a new settler would like to join your town and I, oh decline I didn't know but I would like to see them before I decline if they're like lazy or idiots Jebediah Wester nice a Mormon over here with nice sideburns what's your skills brah Jebediah is gonna be a soldier and now for my second farmer uh, well, maybe not him, maybe somebody else, but I want two farmers right away to make a lot of food and my soldier can take care of everything and I can that way I can get a second dude really quickly. So thanks guys. Uh, let's all welcome Jebediah Springfield to our town. He's our new citizen. You are welcome and I hope that you will enjoy. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, move the, move the, put the thing there, do the thing, and put it there. So I'll see you on the next playthrough, guys. Uh, comment if you have any suggestions, comment if you want to um, give customized names to the workers. This is, a, again, a Lathland idea, but I really like it. And I'm giving a shout out to, a shout out to Lathland YouTube channel. He's a great guy. I have, I didn't ask him. I sound like a brown noser, but um, I don't care. 
it's just something nice. So thank you guys. This was Minibot in, I think it's called Mini Town, Mini Story. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, feel free to make suggestions in the comments. Try to stay respectful. I mean, I'm not going to get hurt by comments on the internet from strangers, but it just be nice. It's nice to be nice. Like, don't be a dick. Nobody likes dicks. This has been the first Stone Hearth play session by Minibot. Thank you very much, everybody. And have a good day or night, wherever you are in the world.